Hello! Today we are going to learn how to use the library's study room reservation online system. It's an exciting change that we're happy to introduce here at the Hayne Memorial Library. So let's take a look at how to use it. So the first thing you're going to do is go to the library homepage. You'll notice right here under students, there's a link now that says book a study room. So we're going to click on that. It's going to take us to the rules and regulations about the study room. And then down at the bottom, I have a lovely blue button that allows me to book a study room. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to pick the day and time that I want to have my study room reservation. I can pick a time up to a week in advance. So I'm going to choose Thursday, April 18th. Students are allowed to book two hours a day, and they do not need to be consecutive. I'm going to go ahead and book consecutively, though, just so you can see what it looks like. So I'm going to say that I want study room A from 4 to 6 p.m. So I click on the times that I want. They light up as yellow. And then I can see down here it says, OK, so you want study room A from 4 p.m to 5 p.m. on April 18th and study room A from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. on April 18th. That's correct, so I'm going to hit Submit Times. Once again, I'm going to get the rules and regulations, and we do this because it's very important that you read them, and you know that by clicking on Continue, you're agreeing that you've read and will abide by these rules. So I'm going to click Continue, and then I'm going to fill out this form. I'm going to put my first name and my last name in. My student email, you must have a uh, student.citruscollege.edu email in order for the reservation to go through. You can also give your reservation a name if, if, if you want to give your group a name and let your other teammates know where you are. And we require a wingspan number. Now, the wingspan number must match that on the ID that you use to check the room out. So if you're the person making the reservation, you need to be the person who comes up to the checkout desk and checks out the room. All right, I got all my information here. I'm going to click Submit My Booking. And it says, I will receive an email confirmation to please check your spam folder or contact the library with any questions. So what I need to do now is go to my Citrus email because my reservation is not considered confirmed until I confirm it in my email. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to my Citrus College email and it's going to tell me, hey, please verify your booking. So I click on that. It says that I have one hour. So from the time that you hit submit, you have one hour to go into your Citrus College email and confirm the booking. So I can say, you know, please verify your booking within one hour. Click this link. I also have the link to cancel if I want to, but I want to confirm. So I'm going to click on it. Okay, yes, this is what I want. I'm going to click verify the email. And then I get my green light here saying, okay, your booking has been verified. So now I can go back down here into the library uh, calendar here. And I can see on my 18th here that I have my booking. It is red. I, that is me in that room. So when I come in for my study room reservation, what I will do is go up to the checkout desk, present my ID. Remember, the ID number has to match the one on the reservation. Check out the room, and you're good to go. If you have any questions, please contact the Research Help Desk. We're happy to walk you through this, and we hope you like this new system.